Just start killing random people. <laughs> they have to be hit die monsters. If there's zero hit die, I don't think I get the. Uh... All we have to do is figure out what's going on as we go against the cult of the reptile god. Which is the name of the adventure. Which is made slightly more difficult since no one's telling us anything. <laughs> well, maybe if you guys would go into the right bloody houses. Okay, so we need to look around and see which houses are bloody. Alright. All House right. one, enter. So, House two, cool enter. Approach. When we House last three. left our heroes... House number one, go. We had been looking through this abandoned farm up here in the <clears throat> northwest part of the map. Uh, we had just finished killing the troglodytes in the old broken down inn. When we were done exploring this little farm right here... Uh, Taka Paralalgus was very concerned about the state of his wine kegs and went skittering back off toward the inn. Well, the, the abandoned inn that we were at. Let's call that the base. Whatever you'd like to call it, homie. We should call it puzzles. Puzzles. <laughs> Did you... Oh, no. You're still on season 8, right, Dev? Yeah, that's the last season I've seen. So I just watched the finale... And I have only one person to talk to it about, and he's a pompous windbag who called the ending, and I had to text him a picture of me holding a knife threatening to murder him. Oh, I'd be pissed. Like, he, call he called it months before. Anyway, I won't spoil it for you, but I did. I am going to murder him, even though he has a small child. <laughs> well, that might solve your adoption problem. Right. Fair enough, right? Jane's cute. She's kind of a difficult child. But... Are you recording yet? Yes. Edit that out. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chip would tell you that Jane is, is a very strong-willed baby. <laughs> she's adorable, and and I I love her to death, and I'm I she's a great baby to play with too. Jane follows me to the bathroom. She's about she's about the same age as Ethan, uh, maybe a hair older, and she just cr crawls up to the bathroom when I go there and waits for me outside. <laughs> she's a little upset that I don't let her come. <laughs> yeah, I'm like that's ah, well, inappropriate. Kids, kids are that way. <laughs> Kid, kids and cats, they're like that. Well, Valentine, if you leave the door open, will sit in the doorway and guard you. I saw a picture. of someone, they were sitting in the toilet and they're taking a picture of the cat sitting in their pants that was around their ankles looking oh, up yeah. like, hi. <laughs> Nancy's cat, Paulinka. You remember Paul, Chris. Yeah. He, the one he that does used that. To, is that the one that used to make friends with the gophers and play with them? Right, and he's also the same one that scarred Braden. Literally. Literally, literally cut his hand and scarred him. <laughs> Ow. Wow. Uh... All right, so Taka has ran back to the inn to go check out his wine, and we're chilling at this old abandoned farm. What does the <laughs> next one down from us look like? Uh, we were there. Uh, 23 had that giant hog. Oh, uh, that's right. That's right that's and right. the kids that ran inside. And the 25 is the inn no. where we had the really good wine. No. 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 Did we look at that number 27 thing yet? I, no. Uh, we just remember, walked outside the trees. I remember thinking I wanted to, but... Did you give that to her? I don't have it. Okay. Um, well, should we head... There doesn't look to be any village north of us. Should we head south and keep exploring? Sounds as good as any other plan. There isn't any plan yet. Should we form up in some kind of formation? That's what I'm trying to do. No, I'm over here. No, you're over here. Form of a party. Elsa will take the rear. <coughs> Who keeps making the little stupid circles? Me, I'm trying to move Dagger just a tiny bit. So, thinking I'm we're headed south. 
Yes. Okay. All right. So where are we going from here? I say let's uh, let's check out that path through the trees. Yeah, we haven't searched over by twenty-seven yet, have we? All right. Let's go take a look. As we head through all these giant elm trees, we see that the narrow trail winds among majestic elms, at times disappearing into thick shrubbery. No shrubbery jokes? I'm disappointed. I was trying to think. The bushes between the trees are dense, rising to a height of ten, 8 or 10 feet. The elms themselves are an average of 75 feet tall, and they are the only trees here. They are widely spaced, allowing much sunlight to pour between their ancient boughs. Is anybody inner... trying to cut one down with a herring? With a herring! The knights of Eki, 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 Putoing! Anyway. Uh, and as we kind of head up the trail, you see a, a kind of a ramshackle cottage at the end of the grove. Well. I think we should check it out, but again, I also think that the person not with the wolf should go first. Fine. <laughs> I'm a tall Amazon woman, so. <laughs> so as you approach a kind of bent, gray bearded man hobbles his way out and goes. Hello, who might you be? My name is Thadrian, and these are my companions. Greetings. Hello. Hi. Who are you? I May am Ramney. Ramney? R A M N E. Yeah, there you go. Uh, interesting enough, the wizard has it. Wizard? Not a wizard has a wizard <laughs> on his shoulder. Sure. Yeah, right. Of course um, not. <laughs> hold on, real quick. All right. I am Ramney. I'm a longtime resident of this here town. What brings you here? Fame and fortune. I don't know if there's any fame to be found here. Tis a dark <laughs> time to be in Orlane. We also heard you got big pumpkins. Ah, uh, we do have big everything here in Orlane. Everything you might even say is <clears throat> bigger in Orlane, plant-wise. These very These elms show the blessings of Marika over our humble village. They are impressive. We also that's, heard that's rumors. That's what she said. We also heard rumors. <laughs> and uh, you say these are dark times. Could you tell us more about what makes them so dark? Well, no, no one in our village could tell you anything other than people seem to mysteriously leave Orlane. In these days... Okay. What brought you to the Golden Grain Inn, may I ask? How did you know we were there? I know much of what goes on in Orlane. Well, it was the first inn we saw when we came into town. Interesting. What did you think of our friends there? Not much. <laughs> what do you think of the people there? An inn is an inn, I suppose. Well, typically the most inns that I've been in don't drug their uh, beverages. You think you were drugged? Yes. Why, pray tell, do you think that? Because I was a lot more hungover and slept a lot more soundly than I usually do when I drink that much. My friends here couldn't wake me, they tell me. And Very since they dragged me off into the woods, I'm assuming that was correct. 
Very interesting. Mr. Thadrin, was it? Why, That's pray tell, would they bother to drug you? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe we were being too nosy. Maybe you were being too nosy. Maybe I was being too nosy. I was just trying to strike up conversation and be friendly, and no one appeared to want to uh, reciprocate. What did you say to our good friend? Oh, what's his name? What did you say to our good friend, Betram? Is that the name of the barkeep? I can't remember. Indeed. I don't recall exactly. I think I was talking about uh, hearing rumors about odd occurrences. And uh, he seemed to play it off like he hadn't heard anything about it. Hmm. What are these rumors you've heard? Oh boy. Nothing major. Just, uh. You've taken a long journey to be here for nothing major. <clears throat> Boop. <laughs> Oh, public speaking is what I do for a living. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Off the cuff is what I do. <laughs> Go ahead. Take your time. Distractions. Distractions. <laughs> I'm actually trying to think about... It's okay. Take your time. What we've been told that might be worth Did you guys write down the rumors you heard? You know what? I didn't. Why do we have to write them down? We can go back and watch the video. Right? Well. Let's see. Um, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can remember. Um, <sighs> did you guys hear the rumor about the sinister and mysterious evil? Yes. Alright. A sinister and evil remember that. is at work in the village. Um... You hear the rumor, a uh, yeah, sorcerer from the Valley of the Mage has moved to the Dim Forest and is working foul enchantments there. Should definitely go there next. Did you also hear anything about well water? Yes. Because okay. I asked if it I said, was it poisoned or drugged? That would be the last rumor you heard. The well water throughout the village of Orlane has been poisoned with a powerful drug. Powerful. Can you feel the power? Oh, I can feel it. What number are these stupid elements? There it is. <coughs> All right, continue. I wonder why they use raw water if you've got lake right there. Do I look? Do I look like a a? a Ramshackle old man with my shoulders hunched. Really, Sonny? Well, Ramney, for instance, um, and this would kind of go along with what we've experienced, we've heard that uh, someone's poisoned the uh, the water, the wells around here. With, Somebody's uh, poisoned the water. The water hole. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> you drink water? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I'm not finished. <laughs> <laughs> Heard somebody's poisoned the water. Okay, continue. And that uh, there's sinister magics and evil being uh, <clears throat> conducted. Well. I don't know if you can believe everything you hear, but there is definitely evil afoot in Orlane. Why don't you go speak with the, the mayor tomorrow and then come see me later? Okay. Is there and where is the mayor's house? You should be, uh... The mayor lives in the house with the number... I don't know. Tin in front of it. 
<laughs> Thank you. It is now late evening. Well, we will uh, beg your pardon and wish you a good night. Thank well, you met, sure good sirs. I'll have my eye on you. Not creepy whatsoever. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, coab. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll head back to our secret base and make sure nobody's looking and get inside. Onward to puzzles. <laughs> Why do they call it puzzles? <laughs> On the way back, I look for any ladders that are just lying around unattended. They're usually ladders unattended. Well, you know, like laying down somewhere, not in use. Yeah. I was mostly joking. I just don't want to see what's on the second floor. Oh, oh, ladders. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did you think I was talking about? Uh, well, we we got to go out of character, Chris. The second floor is absolutely nothing. Stop worrying about it. Okay. It doesn't even exist in the adventure guide. Okay. You can climb on my shoulders. Do, 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 do. Why did you suggest that last session? <laughs> it was too much fun watching you guys fumble around. All right. You return to the abandoned inn to find Takaparalgus pretty drunk with his cask of wine. <laughs> with his empty cask of wine? You guys enter the secret door and close it behind you. And, um, sleep. So you guys are so all going to go ahead and sleep here? We'll set a watch. Or I'll suggest setting a watch. I'll take the first watch. Yeah. Talk of Paralgus says, I agree. That's the most brilliant thing I've ever heard a gnome say about anything. <laughs> I'm going to safely say that's the only thing you've ever heard a gnome say about anything. Okay, so you guys are going to set up a regular watch and sleep for the night? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Um, All right. Still doing the um, double cure light wounds for my spells. Okay. Is everyone at full hit points? Uh, yes. Depends. When I level, do I gain the hit points I got, or do I have to get healed? To what? Oh, you gain them. Okay. Yes, I'm at full. You got stretched. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? <laughs> Can I do that with everyone simultaneously? Because that'd be kind of fun. Nope. I can just make you really big. Oh. Boom, baby. Anyway. Uh, Alright, it is now the following morning. To number 10. So, you guys wake up. Alistair is kind of looking around the building. He looks over at Alara and says, Hey, you know, this really isn't in that bad a shape, structurally. Minus the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, the stairs aren't in really good condition, but... Alistair you know, would know better than anyone. This old building's in... It's, it's not too bad. What do you think, Alara? It is rather homey. I think we're going to be here for a while. Maybe we should start, I don't know, picking up the place. Yeah, we can do that. Wouldn't take too much work. Taka, buddy. When we go talk to the mayor, do you want to start, I don't know, maybe cleaning up the joint a bit? Yeah, guys, I'm Adam. I love to do everything people tell me to on the first time. I'm not difficult at all. <laughs> That's good, Taka. We're glad you're such a team player. Yeah, guys, I'm the best gnome ever. I'll clean up this place for you. 
Yeah, Good make job, sure you take buddy. out the uh, troglodyte corpses. Ah, those are delicious. Don't worry, guys. Sometimes I worry about you. No need to worry. I'm going to eat troglodyte tonight. Sounds tasty. Yeah. Trog delicious. Trog delicious. Trog delight. <laughs> Trog delicious. Trog delicious. At the, its new home at Puzzles. It's delicious. <laughs> that could be our first <laughs> sale. Trog delicious. Trog delight and wine. Get it today at Puzzles. Only two copper each. Don't undersell it. They're worth at least three. <laughs> Get it while supplies last. Yeah, the wine's been flavored by having a gnome bathe in it. <laughs> you don't tell them that. It's it's our special herbs and spices. <laughs>